G'day guys, this is X-Ray Racer 1 and this is going to be part B of my review of the Atlas N-Scale 2 truck Shea geared locomotive. Now I should also point out straight away uh, this will be um, part C, I won't do a part C and I'll explain shortly. Um, now, part B, we'll see the locomotive uh, have its first run. Um, now, I have a big problem. Now, in part A, I told, told you that I would have it running on DCC and I will be putting a decoder in it. Um, now I and I also said that I would also uh, record and film a how-to video. I have done that. However, due to a manufacturing fault, the uh, DCC decoder uh, grenaded itself. It's dead. And I pretty much chucked the wobbly. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Um, so, unfortunately, I have had to rewire my, D my Shea back to DCC mode, so um, when you see it run, you will not see the lights working as uh, I had already had it wired for DCC. However, it still does run. And so, yeah, so unfortunately, this run will be on DC power. Now, the reason why I also said that the, I won't do a part C is because I also have another Shea locomotive. Uh, this one's number three, if I can get it to focus. New York and Penco Inc. So that's that one there. So there's, because um, usually what I'll do is I'll run the locomotive, have it for a week, give you my final thoughts. Well, there's really no need to do my final thoughts in a part C because I already have one, have another one. So. Again, this locomotive, it is made by Atlas. It's their Masterline series. Now, this run will, will be on DC power. And if you are wanting it to run on DCC, it is DCC capable, but it's not DCC ready. Um, if you're going to use a decoder, I recommend using a TCS Z2 or Z2 if you're American. Now, like I said before, the decoder, which was a, D, uh, a Z2, uh, smoked itself. And um, but I do recommend TCS because they have a one-year goof-proof warranty, no questions asked. So the Dakota's on its way back to the United States and I will be getting a replacement. So anyway, without any more talking, I will take the camera off the stand here. I will carefully put it on my hand. Sorry for the shaking, guys. And um, I'll move that over there. Okay, so what we'll do is I'll have to come, I have to do it the old school way, and I'll have to come around here to get it started off. Now I'll run it at a scale speed. Okay. 
With this Shea, I have to admit, um, I do like it a little bit more than the other Shea that I showed you. Not just for its detail, but I also found it to be a little bit more smoother running. Now if I just quickly come around here, I'll try to get it in the light so you can see the workings of it. very first impressions of running these locomotives. Um, I was disappointed with the first one as um, there was a bit of a, a gear mesh issue on one of the trucks uh, on the side here, uh, on the front truck, oops sorry, on the side here I did find that it would jump in reverse but this one goes perfectly fine. Um, but having said that, um, it's, it does, there is a bit of um, noise. They probably can't pick it up on the camera, but there is a bit of gear noise. However, uh, people have told me that the real Shea locomotives would uh, make a lot of noise because they're a geared locomotive and you have the gears on the side. But apart from that, I mean, it, it runs nice and smooth. And I did a little test earlier on, because uh, at the moment I'm just pulling some box cars along. Uh, I did a test earlier on where I put uh, all these box cars and all those, uh, those uh, freight cars there on the back. And um, it would pull it around quite easily. Uh, Sorry about that guys, I had to stop there. That car kept derailing on that train. Uh, so as I was saying, it would go around, uh, when it would get to this section here, um, with all the box cars and all the other um, freight cars, it would start to slip. But it would actually comfortably pull it uh, at this speed. And um, so Atlas have uh, got the gearing and that quite good because as I said in part A, these locomotives weren't meant for speed, they were meant for pulling on small logging uh, railroads. So I'll give you my final thoughts of this locomotive and I will also include this locomotive. Um, my final thoughts are it's nicely detailed. I like the fact that the shell isn't plastic, it's actually die cast. Um, I, I love the detail as you see when you come we see it come around here in the light I love the detail of watch, watching the uh, drive shafts and the pistons and that going up and down uh, it, you know, just like the real thing I reckon it looks really cool so if it's a little blurry but um, my however you know I was a little disappointed um, because I have noticed uh, from some other um, other people who own some of these shays, uh, they have mentioned that they have had the same problem as I have with my, uh, as I had with my first uh, shay locomotive, where the trucks seem to bind a little, and they would uh, start jumping away when you would go in reverse. And this one doesn't do it, it goes fine in reverse. Uh, there's no truck jumping from the gears. Um, however, this one over here, 
uh, still does it a little bit so that kind of hurts the final score a little bit um, my final score I'd have to give it a 7 out of 10 um, mainly because of not just my experience but the experience of others who have got this locomotive as well um, would I recommend this locomotive um, it's not going to be a yes or a no it'll be a possibly I would possibly recommend it because it seems to be a little bit hit and miss when it comes to quality control I would guess you could say um, they're not too they don't honestly I would prefer if manufacturers would give a test run of their locomotives not just put them together and put them in a box and ship them off um, because honestly I reckon uh, there would be a lot less of these Shea locomotives being shipped out if they did a test run but look all in all it's a nice locomotive it runs smooth it's a little noisy um, converting it to DCC it's not a nightmare but it is a little fiddly if you've never ever done it before so I would possibly recommend this locomotive um, and apart from that you know I like it it's cool so that's my review of the Atlas Shea locomotive if you have any questions please don't hesitate to comment down below I'll do my best to answer the, your questions to the best of my abilities stay tuned for more reviews and train related things cheers guys